We are going to be checking out Unique Dojo. As you can see, we got him yesterday, and I was like so shocked when I was rolling for him. I was like, oh my god, we got Unique Dojo, and he's so strong. I tested him in game, and he's absolutely insane. I'm going to absolutely love showing off this unit to you guys. I did have all, I do have all my buff units right here, as you can see. Got the Erwin, the Kisaki, the Sakura, and the Speed Wagon here. Ain't going to forget those. So we're going to go to Planet Namek now. And we're going to go into the infinite mode and test out this unit. Like we start off every video, of course, we're going to place down our almighty Kawaii speed wagon. As you can see, we have them right here. Look at them all dripped out like always. We got to place on all three and start farming this. Uh, let's wait until we get our money. Okay, we did get our money. We're going to place down our speed wagon. Look at that. Boom. And we actually did also place down our Gojo. Look at that. 15,000 damage just off of placement. That is absolutely insane such an op unit oh my god and his range look at his range is okay there's some aoe and you do get his ability right off the bat for all of you that didn't know about his unlimited void it's like an eight second time stop hits the whole map it's such an overpowered ability oh god it's so good we're gonna place down our third kawaii Hello. speed wagon as you can see look at them all lined up fancy schmancy as always we're gonna upgrade them here and uh yeah we're gonna start saving up some money and i'll be back with you we did max out our speed wagons and we upgraded our Gojo up to the third upgrade, which is the reversal red technique, which he's doing 39,618 damage. That is really solid. So we're going to keep upgrading him now. Boom. Boom. And we do get a new move called hollow purple and his range practically almost triples, which is absolutely nuts. What's also nuts is that he actually does use a line AOE as well. So he just completely cuts down the line of the map. Which is actually kind of crazy. It's kind of cool. We don't see maybe we've seen a lot of line AoE units in this update specifically with Utah. And then we got Gojo. You know, we've had really only Coyote as a really good mythical line AoE. But now we got actually got Gojo now and uh Utah to cover up that as well. But anyways, we're gonna keep upgrading this unit as well. Boom. That's good. Boom. Okay, Seems like his upgrades good. just keep yeah, going that's... up in damage. We're gonna upgrade this. Oh, not to mention, I also did actually get a limitless upgrade on him. So he's going to be doing even more damage. As you can see, 234,000 at the max upgrade. I don't exactly have enough for it, but it's only a damage increase. But we're going to test it with the uh, the double void with all the buffs combined just to see what his overall max damage would be. So we're going to upgrade this to max. There we go. We have 234,664 with a 5.1 SPA and a 42.7 rate. Oh my god. Okay, but anyways, I'm going to wait until I get more money to place down all my buff units, and I'll see you all in a second. So we did get our buffs finally placed down, and we're going to start with Sakura here. As you can see, we have her placed down, and now he is doing 258,000 damage. That is absolutely wild. Now we got our Irwins ready. We're going to test out our Irwin with the Sakura. Boom, 316,000 damage. And now we're going to stack that with the Kisaki. Boom. That increased, decreases his range to 4.6 and 51.2. And now we're using his unlimited void, which puts us at 551,000 damage. Yep, okay, that is actually his actual damage. Absolutely wild. It's 551,000 damage. That is actually insanity. I'm actually going to show you his circle real quick, see where he hits. As you can see, he does actually cover almost all of the circle for this first part of Namek. Which is actually really good. He has really good range. Not as good as Utah's, but his range is really, really good. Definitely one of the better ones in the game currently. Like it's up, it's up to par with Coyotes at the at the moment. And uh, yeah, he's actually a really, really good unit. I definitely prefer you if you go for him or Utah in this current update. Of course, there's supports like Megamine or or uh, yeah, just uh, mainly just Megamine because he does that curse damage or or Sakuna, of course. Yes, yeah, Sakuna, he also uh, is a support. He does dismemberment, which causes you to do more damage. But preferably, if you want to go for a DPS unit, I'd prefer to go for Gojo or Yuta. But yeah, Gojo is actually really, really good. Now, if y'all don't know how to obtain this unit, I'll let you know right now. So if you play the Jujutsu Kaisen Infinite map, there's three bosses currently in the game that are able to drop this item. Vogo, Hanamo, and Mahoti. Those three bosses have a 10% chance, from what I know, to drop the eye per kill. And if you want to go claim the six eyes item, you're going to need at least one Gojo in your inventory. And then you talk to this Gojo NPC right here. You say, can you train me? Enter domain and you'll be teleported to this domain right here. It's a really cool domain. I thought this was really cool. And you talk to him. 
say continue and then there should be an option saying uh i don't know yeah this is to upgrade your limit list but uh but then, uh, you talk to him and you will be able to obtain the six eyes item if you get six of the rikugan eyes that you get from the boss drops it is a bit grindy just warning you now it's a really rng sort of thing but yeah that is how you obtain the item not only that you also need 40 of the talismans i don't have any in my inventory i always be trying to level up my yuta and yeah besides that you need that plus the six eyes that you get from gojo and you'll be able to evolve him into this unit look at them he's beautiful Yo, As you I, see, I got one limitless and you get limitless by um just giving him more eyes simply he just asks you to get a certain amount of eyes and you give him the eyes and you can actually give him limitless upgrades now you can do this an infinite amount of times but it doubles every time you do it so it gets harder to get over time Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and down in the comments, let me know what unit maybe you want me to showcase next. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye! <laughs>